What's up guys? Welcome to the Living in North Atlanta channel. If you are thinking about moving or relocating down to Atlanta, then this channel is for you. I go into what it's like to eat, sleep, work, play, entertainment, recreation, the good and the bad, everything that has to do with Atlanta and the suburbs. So I get people all the time asking me questions, emailing me, calling me, wanting to know what it's like to live in Atlanta in the suburbs. So I answer a lot of those questions in these videos and that's why I make them to help you decide if moving to Atlanta and which suburb might be a good fit for you or your family. So whether you're moving in nine or 90 days, this is definitely the channel. So go ahead and click subscribe and click that notification bell as I post videos here weekly about different areas of Atlanta. In today's video, we're gonna take a deep dive into Woodstock, Georgia on a map tour. So with that, let's get into it. guys so i'm circling what is the 285 um belt beltway which is the uh what they call the perimeter in atlanta and this is the freeway that goes completely around metro atlanta and as you go towards woodstock or go north uh you take the 75 and it splits off right in marietta and the 75 kind of cuts off northwest and will take you to kennesaw ackworth and then kind of as you head up northwest towards chattanooga and then if you take the split and go up 575, that will take you to Woodstock, which is the first major city you get to, and then Holly Springs, Canton, and then Ball Ground. And then that will head up north out of the state towards South Carolina. So that drive is going to put you at about 40 minutes, um, give or take with traffic and weather, of course. And it's a, it's a pretty good commute. Um, it's a little bit faster if you take the Peach Pass. So zooming in... Um, We'll zoom in here just a little bit towards Woodstock. And I'll show you kind of like the proximity of Woodstock to Marietta, um, to Roswell, and a couple other cities. But down here is Truist Park, also known as the Battery. This is a really cool area. I'm actually going to be doing a video on that, so I'll link that in the description below. Um, and that's just south of Marietta, which is right here. And Marietta is a pretty good-sized city with a lot of um, homes and businesses and things like that, which is right outside the perimeter. Um, so... You know, Woodstock is very close to all the stuff. There's Smyrna, which has a lot of nicer homes as well. Um, and then Vinings, which puts you just inside the perimeter. And they have, like, really nice homes out there, a lot of, like, really nice townhouses and condos. Um, but Woodstock is, like I said, about 40 minutes out, um, maybe a little bit more with traffic. So zooming in, now we're in Woodstock. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, shopping around this area. Um, on Town Lake Parkway, this is a big road that goes through Woodstock that leads to downtown. Um, but on the west side of the 575, you have Eagle Crest, which is one of the most sought after subdivisions, uh, master plan communities in Woodstock and the surrounding areas. It's a golf course community with a ton of amenities, very nice homes. I'll be doing a tour of Eagle Crest in an upcoming video to show you guys what it looks like in real life with price points um, and the different, you know, the different varieties of homes that are within there. So stay tuned for that. Um, but as far as Woodstock goes, there's the you know, Eagle Crest is located right off Town Lake Parkway. It's close to the mall, um, like I said, the Outlet Malls, which is in my last video. And now we're gonna zoom in. And I'm going to show you. All right, so let's zoom in. And this area right here uh, is m the main downtown area. So this is like the a lot of the features of Woodstock. Um, a lot of people come to this area. This is this is downtown Woodstock. It's got a lot of cool bars and restaurants. I did a walkthrough of this in my other video. I'll link in the description below. But um, there's a lot of entertainment, a lot of shopping, a lot of dining, a um, lot of live bands in this area. A lot of people live in this area. There's a lot of condos and um, mid-high-rise stuff, um, kind of like a Manhattan-style living in this area. And it's a pretty cool area. Um, price points are you know, pretty, pretty good. Uh, it's definitely above your average price point for Woodstock, I would say, just because you have all the conveniences of downtown. But then again, you also have a lot of traffic, too. Um, especially at rush hour and especially on the Friday, Saturday nights. Um, and then we have Wolfstock D Dog Park, which is real close to downtown, right down Dupree Street, and it backs up to the 575. So there's some nice trails back there that you can walk with your dog. Um, 
and a lot of nice wooded areas. There's some nice homes back off Dupree as well. And then a little further up, we got the um, outlet malls, which is right here in this kind of uh, beige area. Uh, and I did a preview of those in, in the other video too, the pros and cons of Woodstock. Um, that's a pretty popular area. There's a lot of good restaurants over there. Um, lots of shopping, designer outlets, things like that. Um, but there's a Woodstock has a the one cool thing about Woodstock is they have like a large variety of like parks and they're kind of positioned all over um, the city. So kind of where no matter where you live, you're in close proximity to a park. You know whether it's a baseball diamond, um, football fields, soccer fields for your kids, or like a nice walking trail park or a dog park or something like that. It's a lot of cool stuff that you can do in Woodstock without really having to leave Woodstock. You know, there's like the top of Woodstock right there. Above there would be like Holly Springs and Hickory Flat. Um, and Woodstock is kind of representing of like, you know, this line here. And then typically like 92 right there, that big uh, road, 92 is kind of the divider between uh, parts of Woodstock does bleed south of that. But pretty much like south of 92 is going to be Kennesaw for the most part. And then as you work your way west, um, you get more towards um, Ackworth because that you're buying Lake Altoona more. But generally speaking, um, like I said, I'm going to do a tour of Eagle Crest and maybe a couple other neighborhoods for Woodstock. But um, it's a really cool town. It's close proximity to Metro Atlanta, and there's a lot to do. So it's definitely a great area to live and to raise a family or to live as a uh, single professional as well. So changing the uh, image, you can see some of the subdivisions a little bit better from this uh, map view. So there's the 575. That's Town Lake Parkway. And as you can tell, there's a lot of shopping and dining along Town Lake Parkway. Uh, it's a pretty busy road um, with all those businesses and things like that. It can get congested at um, you know rush hour time in the morning and the afternoon. But um, there's a lot of subdivisions that connect to Town Lake Road. And um, Eagle Crest is one of them. Uh, south of that, there's a lot of other subdivisions and a lot of newer developments that are popping up. So I will definitely hit those up on another tour. So now we are inside of Eagle Crest and I wanted to give you a street view just so you could get a feel for what one of the neighborhoods inside the Eagle Crest master plan community looks like. And you kind of get an idea of why it's so sought after. And when homes go for sale in here, they go very fast. So as you can see, the homes are, you know, about a hundred or so feet off of the road, nicely landscaped, uh, four sided brick. Uh, homes, most homes in here, in this subdivision at least, are you know thirty five hundred square feet or up, and uh, two to three, uh, maybe even four car garage. So it's a very nice community. Uh, lots of amenities, bells and whistles. So if you guys are looking to check out subdivisions like Eagle Crest or any other areas in Woodstock, and you just have some questions, please reach out to me. And my me, myself or my team will definitely get them answered to you. You can leave comments below or you can just contact us directly or click the Zoom link in my description and we can have an in-person chat. I'd love to work with you and help you out as you, as you move to Woodstock.